Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to add a network connection on an ESXi host running on HPE Synergy Compute Node using HPE OneView. Okay, so let me elaborate this scenario within our lab environment. Let's say within our lab, we have one data, one vCenter created with data center, one data center and one cluster running with three ESXi host. Let's say ESX as names as seven, eight, nine. If you notice ESX seven and go to the configure tab and verify the network connections, currently we have a three NIC cards, VM NIC zero, one, and two. And similarly, if we select the ESX9, we have a three NIC connections. And how about the virtual switches? If we select the ESX7, go to the V switches, we have a, for testing purpose, we have a three V switches, V switch 0, 1, 2. Okay, and each V switch connected with one NIC cord. It's a test lab, so instead of recommendation is each V switch must have a two NIC cords. So for testing purpose, we have a one NIC cord and we switch to also running with one NIC cord. But when it comes to ESX8, we have V switch 0, 1 NIC and V switch when also connected with one NIC cord. But when it comes to V switch 2, there is a port group and V switch created, but no physical network connection. Okay, so this is the scenario. So physically, normally, if we have a rack mount server, we can connect the cable from physical server network connection to switch so that we'll get a one network connection will be up. That is a rack mount server. But when it comes to Synergy compute node, Synergy is nothing but a better blade server or composable infrastructure blade server. So within a Synergy compute node, the scenario is slightly different. So to manage HPE Synergy compute nodes, we require a management tool called OneView. Suppose when I connect to the OneView, we have a three enclosures and overall hardware is 21 hardware. Now I'm trying to find out the specific hardware. Okay, let's log into the server hardware and look for a specific server name. This is the specific server name. And go to the specific server name in the right pan, go to the server profile. When we go to the server profile, there is a node two and node one. When we node ends with node one, there is a connections are three connections. When select the node two profile, connections are two connections. When select the node three, three connections. So the scenario is only the node two running with less than three connections. So the scenario, now we are going to add a additional network connection on this ESXi host. Okay, so how we can add is go to the server specific server profile and under server profile overview section, we can see the connections. Two connections are connectly connected state. That is the reason it is showing as okay. If we want to add an additional connection, just click on edit. When we click on edit, it is currently showing with two connections. So while adding a new connection, just click on add connection. While adding the connection, our network we have to choose. When you select the drop down menu, there is a multiple networks available within our network, different VLANs also. Currently, we are planning to add a 10 series network. Let's say select a 10 series network. Whatever the name we have here, the same name we can use it here as well so that there will be no confusion. And the function type is Ethernet. Ethernet is nothing but a network connections. We have a three types of connections, either Ethernet, fiber channel, or iSCSI. Currently, we are planning to add it as a Ethernet connection. That is called network connection. So, and one key, key point here is, when we want to do any hardware level changes, thumb of rule is we have to power off the server. Server should be maintenance mode and needs to be power off. Currently, if you see here, currently in the maintenance mode, but it's not in the power off state. It is in the power on state. Even if you're trying to add also, it will give you an error message. When I click on OK, it will give you an error message. See, it's saying that resolution, power off the server or adjust the settings, retry. Okay, so it's a common known issue 
whenever if you want to do a, any hardware level changes, the server should be in the power off state. So we can power off from here or we can power off from one view console as well. Any method we can follow. Just right click here, go to the power, shut down. You can write the comment. Hardware maintenance. And now click on OK. When we click on OK in the recent task, so initiated host shutdown completed. So it may take a while to shut down the host. We can duplicate this one view console and we can monitor the server status as well. We can cancel here. Just open the server status. See the server hardware. Just select the server hardware. And here there is a ILO address. Open a ILO address so that we can monitor the server status, whether it is power off or still in the shutdown state. See now if you see here, server power is off state. Okay, so it's confirmed if the server is in the off state. We can see from my Elvo console or we can see from the OneView console also server power is off state. Okay, so now we are good to click on retry the option again. So now click on OK. So when you click on OK, the connections will be updated from 2 to 3. See, when you notice here, see the update configuring connections. This is how we can configure on HPE Synergy Compute Node Layer. As I mentioned, Synergy means it's a composable infrastructure and we can also call it as it's a better blade server. So you can see here applying server hardware settings to specific server, enclosure name and bay number. Bay number is eight. So if you see here, connection three is okay, but still we have to wait until it says completed. So it may take a while. Once it is completed, then only we can power on the server. So OpenShift Node 2, applying the all the server hardware settings. Once the setting is applied, even if when you go to the our vCenter server, configure tab and select the physical adapters, Currently, we have VMNIC 0 and 1. Once it's updated successfully, we can see VMNIC 2 will be added here. So let's monitor for a while. can see here update is completed see now the connections are you can see update completed it took one minute 50 seconds so connections three connections are okay and we are good to power on the node now see currently server is power off state so in order to power on just go to the actions and we can click on power on this is one option or else another way is go to the ILO console also we can power on. From the one view console, go to the specific server, pay eight server and power on. See power on is in progress. See now just try to refresh from vCenter level so that we can validate whether the connection is updated or not. So currently still the server is not responding state. That means booting up is in progress. See, we can see from ILO also server is power on state. And to verify the remote console, in the left side you can select the remote console and go to the HTML5 integrated remote console option so that we can monitor the server status. Currently server booting up is in progress.
power on completed but we have to monitor you for a while until the host back to online Okay, this is the Synergy one, Synergy Compute Node. You can see the name, HP Synergy, and booting up in progress. See, even in the until it's a success host boot up completely, until then our host is still shows as a not responding state. See, when you see here, now the server is boot up completed successfully. Now let's back to our vCenter server and verify the host status. We can see yes, success host is in the maintenance mode. And when we go to the configure and physical adopters, previously we have VM NIC 0, VM NIC 1. Now latest NIC connection is added successfully. So now just refresh. So connection is stable, but the connection is not yet connected to any virtual switch. So go to the vSwitches tab and we have to choose the vSwitch 2 and we can add the network adapter. So click on manage network adapter and select active adapter or click on plus sign and select the VM NIC 2, click on OK. So now select click on OK so that in the recent task, it will update. Update virtual switch completed. VM NIC 2 is added successfully. Currently, there is no virtual machines. If you want to test the any virtual machines also, let's say, for example, VM NIC jump, jump 4 is the one of the virtual machine. If I want to migrate and test it, just select migrate, click on next, and choose the ESX host. ESX 8, but before migrate, let's exit the server from the maintenance mode. Maintenance mode, exit. See, exit maintenance mode in progress. Now exit is completed. Now select any randomly one virtual mission, migrate, and we can test it whether the connection is established successfully or not. Okay, there is a warning for CD DVD that is safely ignore, but migration will take place. So when you click on finish, OCP jump for is going to relocate from ESX7 to now it is migrating to ESX8. Now when we select jump four, we can see it is under the ESX 8. So select ESX 8 and go to the virtual switch tab. Within a virtual switch tab, expand the virtual machine, select jump 4. See the connection is going through the physical adapter. So that means our network connection, newly added network connection on ESX host, which is running on HPE Synergy Compute Node, we successfully added the network connection using one view. Okay, so that's it. And here is the our Gnant Cloud Garage YouTube channel complete playlist overview. If you're looking for a additional content like VMware vSphere and ARIA automation, some interview preparation, Tanju, and also the data protection solutions, ARIA operations, and VMware Cloud Foundation, and other technical concepts, you can just search in the YouTube Gnant Cloud Garage, go to the playlist tab, and you can explore the all this valuable content. Okay, if you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Gary channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.